Hey there, so in this tutorial we are going to cover WB Invoice. This is web invoice and billing plugin which turns your WordPress setup into invoice software. So whenever you want to collect the payment from client or your work, in such case you don't have to use expensive services like FreshBooks or any other similar services. You just have to add this plugin into your WordPress blog or website and then just connect it with payment getaway after that you just have to send the email to your client asking him to pay from this invoice page uh, so that page is basically built inside the WordPress and we are just linking payment getaway with the help of plugin so let's first install the plugin go to the plugins tab click on add new type wp invoice click on install now Okay, the plugin is installed and it is showing in sidebar so go to view all you will find that it is currently empty right now which you can fill it up with business name then where you want to display the invoice you can put it on about page or you can simply use your sample page how you want the invoice to be inserted or write the page content or using the tab WP invoice as our short code or tag you can say then default payment method should be PayPal you have option from Intercasa, Stripe to check out credit card and PayPal go for the PayPal then you can make the changes here like PayPal username, something like admin at pepperstreet.com. Okay, then use in test mode, mm, enable it if you have the API, then IPN URL if it exists, if no, then just leave it, then save the settings. After that, it asks you to add your client email. So add it something like let's say my client is from UK and her name is Nikita AB at pepperstreet.com. Click on create new, then the screen will take us to the invoice creation. Create the invoice for WP. work code uh, it should be the work done on the work code for the last two weeks okay you can hit for recurring bill where your the options for recurring bills will be displayed and the client will be getting the invoice from us on regular basis you can disable that you can also allow partial payment and minimum payment amount something like 25 okay or even any other number 
then just add the work work board task one quantity one price fifty dollar work board task two price should be seventy five dollars okay now we have this option like adding a line below this uh, invoice task you can add additional item web design service web development service etc etc these are predefined lines you can define on your own too after that default payment option client can change payment no manual payment only you can enable that too currency should be us dollar so whenever if you want to get paid in us dollar you can keep it as default or you change to something let's like, say pound british pounds sterling or euro once you are done with this you just have to save this invoice okay so the invoice is saved let's check this page invoice id is hash 340 it means nothing right now so don't worry about it okay so as you as you can see i have overridden my sample page with this invoice page uh, you can add additional detail related to your job uh, name of your client is displayed here and they have still not done much personalization they are using email address to personalizing which is not a good thing i think there should be a name so just forget it for now but just see that your client is saying welcome after that then email id then the number of tasks that you have performed then balance and subtotal after that for payment field they have to fill all of this and then process the payment uh, you can make sure that on this page you remove the comments because the more things you let your client to do on any page they are less likely to look at that page or do any actions when you are asking for invoice to be paid just make them to pay the payment and remove these comments and any other thing also one thing you can do is uh, for specific pages you can remove the top menu bar as well for each wordpress plugin it those small short codes will be different so when you are asking for an invoice make sure those pages have only the top logo of the company and the invoice and the button for the payment so this is pretty much how this wp invoice plugin works in future tutorial i will cover a few other types of invoice and billing applications for wordpress i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions send me a message on my channel and i will see if i can help you with anything till then bye